Okay, today we're talking about polynomials and simplifying polynomials. Recall that a monomial is a number, variable, or a product of numbers and variables with exponents that are whole numbers. Okay, so some examples of monomials are shown here for you. Monomials, 2n, x cubed, 4a to the fourth b cubed, 7. So 7 is a whole number, a monomial. 2n is the product of a number and variable, still a monomial. x cubed is a variable to a whole number exponent. And 4a to the fourth b cubed is a monomial, the product of numbers and variables. So let's look here at the not monomials, okay? Not monomials. P to the 2.4, because our exponent is not a whole number. 2 to the x, our exponent can't be a variable. The square root of x can also be written as x to the 1 half power. We've studied that before, and that is not a whole number. And 5 over g squared can be written as 5 times g to the negative 2. Negative 2 is not a whole number. So you can see not monomials and our monomials. Okay? Monomials, that's what we're talking about. Okay, a polynomial is one monomial or the sum or difference of monomials. That means we're adding monomials together or we're subtracting monomials from one from each other. A simplified polynomial can be classified by the number of monomials or terms that it contains. So we have names for these polynomials. A monomial has one term as we just looked at. A binomial has two terms, by for two, and a trinomial has three terms, tri for three. So if we were to identify x, y squared, we would say it's a monomial because it's one term, isn't it? 2x squared minus 4y to the negative 2 is not even a sum of monomials or difference of monomials because that's not a monomial, is it? Since that's not a monomial, this is not a polynomial. Not a trick question, just something you have to look for. Whereas 3x to the fifth plus 2.2x squared minus 4 is the sum of 1, 2, 3 monomials, so we would call that a trinomial. We could also call it a polynomial, but a trinomial specifically says that that's the sum or difference of three monomials or three terms. a squared plus b squared. We have one monomial plus another monomial, which means it's a binomial. Again, we can also call it a polynomial, but specifically it's a binomial because we're adding two terms. 6.3x squared is one term, and it is a monomial. And c to the 99th plus p cubed is also the sum of two monomials, so that would be a binomial. Okay? So we looked at monomials, binomials, and trinomials, which are all polynomials. Okay, now we're just going to talk about something, and that's called the degree of a term. Okay? So the degree of a term is the sum of the exponents of the variables in the term. The degree of a polynomial is the same as the degree of the term with the greatest degree. A polynomial can be classified by its degree. So let's look at that. I like to start by just finding the degree of each polynomial. So here I have a polynomial here. My polynomial is 4x squared plus 2x to the fifth plus xy plus 5. And I want to find the degree of the term first and then I'm going to find the degree of the polynomial. So the degree of the first term is 2 because it has one variable to the power of 2, so its degree is 2. 
The second term is degree 5 because it has one variable and its exponent is 5, so that's degree 5. The next term is xy. It has two variables. x is to the power of 1 and y is to the power of 1. So the sum of those exponents, again, that's what this says right here, the sum of those exponents is 2, which makes that degree 2. And lastly, 5 is a constant that has degree 0. You might think of that as What's x to the 0 power? Well, anything to the 0 power except for 0 is 1. So 5x to the 0 power is 5 times 1, or 5. So that kind of reminds me that, hey, that's like a x to the 0 power, so degree 0. So I found the degree of all four terms in my polynomial. And then I want to pick the degree of the polynomial and that ends up being let's see the degree of polynomial is the same as the degree it's the same as the degree the term that has the greatest degree so which term has the greatest degree that is 5 so the polynomial has degree 5 so again we find the degree of each of the terms and then the one term that has the highest degree, in this case 2x to the fifth, has degree 5, and that's the highest degree of all these terms, means the degree of the polynomial is 5. So let's look at these four other polynomials on the sheet. x plus 4. x has degree 1. 4 has degree 0. So we found the degree of each of the terms. The degree of the polynomial is 1, isn't it? 5x minus 2x squared plus 6. 5x has degree 1. 2x squared has degree 2, 6 has degree 0, so the degree of the polynomial, the term with the highest degree, 2. 6.3x squared, that term has degree 2. There's only one term, so that tells us that polynomial has degree 2. Hey, there's c to the 99th plus p cubed again. c to the 99th has degree 99. p cubed has degree 3. So the degree of the polynomial is the term with the highest degree, or 99. Okay. All right. We can simplify polynomials by adding or subtracting like terms. Now, we've talked about like terms before, and um, so you should be able to know that if I have x plus x is 2x because they're like terms, x plus y is x plus y because they're not like terms and we can't add them together. So when we look at um, polynomials, we again look for like terms. And in this time, we have to have the same variable, but the variables also have to have the same powers. Okay? So if I look at 4a cubed b squared plus 3a squared b cubed minus 2a cubed b squared, notice 4a cubed b squared and 2a cubed b squared. Both the a's have the same power and the b's have the same power, so they're like terms. Okay? But if I look at the middle term, 3a squared b cubed, okay, it's a to the second power, b to the third power, which is not the same as either of these terms. So this is all by itself, and there's nothing we can do about it because it has no like terms in either term. So if I wanted to simplify that, I could add 4a cubed b squared plus, oops, that should be minus actually, minus 2a cubed b squared, which is equal to 2a cubed b squared, but then I would add this non-like term, which I can't combine to a plus 3a squared b cubed. So that would be the simplified form of that polynomial, okay? And notice, they're like terms. a cubed b squared, I combine those like terms here and simplified my polynomial like terms and
the unlike term. Okay, so we let's just I just want to we're not going to actually simplify these expressions here, but we're going to look for like terms. So if we look at 5x cubed plus y squared plus 2 minus 6y squared plus 4x cubed, I want to identify like terms. And I like to do that with underlining. So 5x cubed and 4x cubed are like terms. They have the same variable to the same power. And y squared and minus 6y squared are like terms. Now notice, you might notice that I said minus 6y squared because the sign goes with the term, minus 6y squared plus y squared. Okay, we're not combining them, we're just looking at it. And then of course, little o2 is all by itself, there's no like terms for 2. Okay, let's look at the next expression and let's see if we can find some like terms. So we have 3a cubed b squared plus 3a squared b cubed plus 2a cubed b squared minus a cubed b squared. So I have 3a cubed b squared and here I have another 2 plus 2a cubed b squared and then here I have a minus a cubed b squared. So those three are like terms and 3a squared b is not like terms because it has different powers on the variables, doesn't it? Okay, let's look at yet another 7p cubed q squared plus 7p squared q cubed plus 7p cubed squared. So I want to look at these terms carefully and the first term has a p cubed q squared and I don't see a p cubed q squared anywhere so that's there's no like term for that. 7p squared q cubed I don't see a p squared q cubed in the other term because it's a p q squared. They're all unlike terms. So I couldn't simplify that at all even if I wanted to. Okay, so let's look at the next one. 4y to the 4th plus y squared plus 2 minus 8y squared plus 2y to the 4th. So like terms, I see a y to the 4th in 4y to the 4th and I see a y to the 4th in 2 plus 2y to the 4th. Okay, let's see if I can find some others. Okay, so I see a plus y squared and I see a minus 8y squared, like terms. And then there's that plus 2 again, all by itself with no like terms to match it. Okay, a couple more. I think you're getting the idea of this, or at least I hope you are. So we have 7n to the 4th r squared plus 3n squared r cubed plus 5n to the 4th r squared plus n to the 4th r cubed. So 7n to the 4th r squared. I see another n to the 4th r squared and plus 5n to the 4th r squared and another one in plus n to the 4th r squared. So I have three like terms and it looks like my plus 3n squared r cubed is not a like term. Okay, one more. Bear with me on this one, you guys. Hang in there. 9m cubed n squared plus 7m squared n cubed plus pq squared. Okay, let's look for some like terms. I have 9m cubed n squared, so I'm looking for m cubed n squared. I don't see any, so that doesn't have any like terms. And I have plus 7m squared n cubed. I have an m squared and n cubed, and I don't see that in any other term. And then lastly, I see pq squared. There's no pq squared. So again, those are all unlike terms in that expression. Let's see what we Okay, to simplify a polynomial, we can combine like terms. What do you know about that? Okay, so to simplify a polynomial, I can combine like terms. But first, I, I should arrange the terms from highest degree to lowest degree using the commutative property. I think that's a good idea because it kind of just helps you. So, oh, here's a helpful hint. When you rearrange terms, move the operation in front of each of the each with that term. So that means if it's plus 2x squared, you move that plus with the 2x squared. If it's minus 6x, you move the minus with the 6x. Okay, so here we have 4x squared plus 2x squared plus 7 plus minus 6x plus 9. So I'm going to do my degrees first. And let's just do those quickly here. So 4x squared is degree 2. 2x squared is degree 2. 7 is degree 0. Minus 6x is degree 1 and 9 is degree 0. So let's put these in order. So I put my two degree terms first, 4x squared plus 2x squared. I brought the operation with the term. And then I have minus 6x, which has degree 1. 
and then I have plus 7 and plus 9. So notice I've got degree 2's, degree 1, and degree 0's here, don't I? So now I can combine them. 4x squared plus 2x squared is 6x squared. Minus 6x, nothing to combine with that, so it's still minus 6x. Plus 7 plus 9 is plus 16. So that is simplified form. Let's do another. 3n to the 5th m to the 4th minus 6n cubed n plus n to the 5th m to the 4th minus 8n cubed n. So let's first find the degrees. 3n to the 5th m to the 4th has degree 9. Minus 6n cubed m has degree 4 plus n to the fifth m to the fourth has degree 9, and minus n cubed m has degree 4. So let's put these terms in order from greatest degree to least degree. So that's going to be equal to my 3n to the fifth m to the fourth, that's a degree 9, plus n to the fifth m to the fourth, that's another degree 9, then we're going to move to degree 4, minus 6n cubed n, and minus 8n cubed m. Okay? This should be an m right there. Okay? So, let's look at our degrees. I have degree 9's here, and degree 4's here. But I have to make sure that my actual powers for each of the variables are the same. So we have n to the 5th, m to the 4th and n to the 5th, m to the 4th. So those are like terms. We add them together. 3n to the 5th, m to the 4th, plus n to the 5th, m to the 4th is 4n to the 5th, m to the 4th. And I have minus n cubed m and minus n cubed n. So those are like terms, same degree, same powers on each of the variables. So minus 6n cubed m minus 8n cubed n is minus 14n cubed m. Now, don't go telling me I made mistakes here. I know those are hard to read, so I'm going to try and fix them. But I did tell you those were n cubed m, so just relax. Okay, so there, I simplified by finding the degree of the terms, putting those terms in order of degree, looking for like terms, and combining them. Well, sometimes we need to use the distributive property to simplify a polynomial. So here I have a polynomial, negative 4 times the quantity 3m cubed n plus 7m squared n plus m squared n. So I want to distribute negative 4 times 3m cubed n plus negative 4 times 7m squared n. And if you want, you can make a little scratch paper over here, negative 4 times... 3m cubed n is equal to negative 4 times 3 is negative 12m cubed n. So that first term becomes negative 12m cubed n. And then I still have to do negative 4 times 7m squared n. And that's equal to negative 4 times 7 is negative 28 m squared n, so that's my second term, so minus 28m squared n, and the last term is still m squared n. So, let's look at the degrees of the term. m cubed n is degree 4, m squared n is degree 3, m squared n is degree 3, so it looks like the degrees are together, degree 4, degree 3s. Let's combine like terms. There's no like term for minus 12 m cubed n, so we'll leave it like that, and minus 28 m squared n plus m squared n is minus 27 m squared n. Okay, so we've looked at finding like terms by checking out the degrees, putting the terms in order of degree, greatest to least, and then combining like terms. So here I've written some problems down that I'd like you to try, and we'll go over them next time I see you.